Good morning and happy Friday. Thank you very much. Okay, so it's sort of coming out uh, um, um, that there was an audit of the city's water and sewer department going on. And the mayor, I'm not, let's not say she denied it was going on. We won't get into the particulars of what she had to say. But the question is, did you as a city councilman. A chairman of the audit committee, correct? Did you know it was going on? That's correct. Uh, no. In a short word, no. And and I think, you know, there's been talk of transparency and, and all that. And, and people can judge that how they want to and how you define transparency. This is, to me, it's about communication. And uh, I think that chairman of the council or chairman of the audit and finance committee should have known that uh, administration was moving forward with an audit and, and some of those timelines. And it's like, you know, we really had to drag this information out. And I guess had there not been some inquiries made in the past week, we wouldn't know until an audit document showed up at, at some point between now and either the election or after the election. Do you understand at any level the logic of the Tyler administration for wanting to keep this under wraps? No, not at all. <laughs> I mean, I, I simply don't. Are they you know, worried when, about what they may find? Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. They could be. Uh, my issue is when water billing issues first bubbled up to the surface. Um, the mayor told the citizens and told the council, I'm going to move forward with an audit. We're going to get to the bottom of this. When those steps did not appear to be taken, then the city council decided to do a limited city council audit, uh, which we did. And that audit was presented to us October of last year. Ironically, now we find out that the very next day, uh, administration moved forward with their own audit by selecting the company that would that would do it. Although the work alleges, allegedly has not did not start until you know earlier this year. Now, how does that work out financially exactly, Michael? I mean, it it, it there's got to be some sort of I would assume paper trail of who's paying for what, right? There there should be, and I'm, I'm going to make par- the pardon me, excuse me. And if that's the case, is is it easy or difficult to to keep uh, clandestine? Um, because this would not come to the city council for approval. It's something that the mayor could do administratively uh, to to authorize this contract and the payments. Then um, city council would not know about it, you know, unless we were digging through financial statements and actually looking for it. And we really don't get information at that at that level of, you know, who who got a check for what. We're getting more consolidated numbers. Uh, I'm, my assumption is this is being paid with water and sewer funds, but again, there's been no information shared with the council to confirm that. City Councilman Michael Corbin, uh, this audit that's being done, this external audit, um, costs some money. When do you anticipate the results of this audit, and what? are you most looking forward to seeing in it? Based on information that came from the mayor's office this week, uh, there could be a draft of the audit as early as um, October of this year, next month. Now, generally in an audit, you get a draft. There's some back and forth questions and answers, uh, some things to follow up on. So then there could be another two to three months after that before you have the final audit. After the election, um, huh? Uh, that's, that's certainly or, possible. Will, will you see the draft? Uh, that's certainly up to the mayor. Um, you know, at, at this point, since, since the administration has run this whole process, uh, they may get the draft and, and decide to keep it, um, you know, on the second floor until the final audit is prepared, uh, or they could they could share it with, the council um and that's just a question that we don't know right now and what are you what do you most want to see in this audit what are you going to hone in on first i really want to see what are they auditing because the original rsp that went out actually referred to an audit the second rsp that went out uh, we've now learned says it's an efficiency and operational review which that's not necessarily a bad thing uh, because that's going to go into the day-to-day processes, and are they are our staff missing things? Are we doing things wrong? So that could be good, but it really just depends how deep they're digging in, 
And, and ultimately, once this document is released, what actions are taken to actually correct some of the problems? Jeff Everson sent me this when I asked if he was aware of the audit. I thought so. It now seems confusing with everyone hashing out what was said when and where, but I did think there was an ongoing external audit of the Water Department. There were some internal audits, too. After going to several local forums, I'm starting to think no one pays any attention to the audits we already do, but everyone says they want audits. It's all a little confusing. You feel the same? It, it can be confusing, and, and an audit should be used to to create change because generally the audits that, that come through the Audit and Finance Committee deal with operational issues and, and behaviors that need to be changed, policy that needs to be changed. Um, I think that this, this audit is going to be similar to that. It's just much larger uh, because we're talking about you know, every citizen in the city is affected by it. There's lots of money that goes through the water and sewer department. Not to say that any money has been mishandled in any way, but it comes back to what procedures are happening to show that Aaron is getting her bill correct and Robert's getting his bill correct and, and there's not issues. In, in the next week to 10 days or whenever you or the other city council people see the mayor next, are you going to are you going to toss out the, hey, Miss Ollie, what the heck question? Well, I think the question that I want to ask is, when the draft comes out, are we going to be able to see it, or will she provide city council with the actual uh, documents that outline what's, what's being reviewed by the external auditor at this time? I mean, what's done is done to, to a certain extent. The timelines, the, the secrecy, if we want to call it that, has happened. But I, I want to see what are we looking for, what can we expect, and more importantly, when do we expect this document to come out? 